Hi! In this tutorial, I'll discuss how to use Magellan with other virtual MIDI apps and show how Magellan can be used as a MIDI controller. In the first example, I'll use Geosynth, one of our favorite virtual MIDI capable apps, to play Magellan. The process is quite simple. I start by turning on the audio backgrounding. This way, Magellan is able to generate sound when it's no longer on the screen. I can also specify the MIDI in channel for each synth engine. The settings work the same way they did when I was using an external MIDI controller in the last tutorial. Let's now switch over to Geosynth. I connect to Magellan by selecting it among the MIDI imports Geosynth has detected. The exact way to do this may change from app to app so it's usually a good idea to consult the app's user manual. Magellan's MIDI outport can transmit messages from either of its two keyboards, touchpads, ARPs or chord maker modules, as well as its built-in sequencer. In this case, I'll control a physical synth. The process is very similar when the target is a virtual MIDI app. I've already connected my iPad to the synth MIDI import using iRig MIDI. I now go to the MIDI outputs list to connect with iRig MIDI. The outputs list shows the currently available MIDI imports that Magellan has detected. When a connection's been established, a tick mark appears next to the target entity's name. I can connect and send messages to any number of destinations at the same time. Next, I specify the channel on which Magellan will relay MIDI messages. In this case, I select Omni to transmit on all the 16 channels. When I'm ready, I turn on Magellan's out port using the MIDI out toggle. At this point, Magellan's ready to send MIDI messages to all the destinations selected in the outputs list. Here it is using the touchpad. I can now load an arpeggio, and the arpeggio will similarly be sent over the MIDI output. Likewise, I can use the sequencer to control the hardware set. As a side note, if you want Magellan to be on the foreground when controlling another virtual MIDI app, make sure that the target app has an audio backgrounding feature and that it's turned on. As a general tip, turn off audio backgrounding on apps you won't be using for an extended period of time. This will help reduce the battery drain on your device. Thanks for watching this tutorial from Magellan, professional analog modeling synthesizer for iPad.